Sometimes it's necessary in our deepest sorrow, sometimes in our, our deepest anger, sometimes when there is a real situation in the church or in the community and you have to address it, when you have to do what you have to do without an eye toward you know, worrying about, does this mean that some people are going to leave the church? Does it mean that some people will think less of me? There are times when you have to stand in a truth, stand in an emotion, and trust God for the outcomes. Better that than for us to have this responsibility and pretend to be someone that we are not. Better that. Because, because your real feelings, your real opinions, they're going to leak anyway. <laughs> you know, how you're really doing is going to come out usually in some unhealthy way if we're not honest and forthright. Now, I don't think that the pulpit should be used as a place to say things that are inappropriate or things that are damaging. I think everything should be packaged in love. But to be truthful and to hold and to hold the truth in love, I think it's incredibly important. Authentic, authentic, authentic. Because people know when you're faking the funk, okay? <laughs> authentic. You know, bring the real you. Not the trained you, not the one that knows choreography, not the one trained in public speaking. You know, bring the, tr the, the real you and make the, the trained you submit to the real you. I think that that's a very powerful opportunity to do that.